Here's one from Spectre 1055. Hey, Spectre. Spectre says, hey, Robbie and Carrie, great show. I just found you guys on Miro. That rhymed. You're awesome, Spectre. Did he actually say that? Or you did? No, I did. Oh, okay. That was a great show. Saw you on Miro. I'll keep going. It's like a rap. <laughs> I would like to know how you created your Windows drives, Drive images to use with VirtualBox. Oh. I have the same issue as a previous poster. I use Ubuntu and Evolution as my PIM but I still need to sync with my smartphone, so I have Outlook installed on my Windows partition. I want to move my Windows programs to my virtual box. I would like a Linux program recommendation, um, and I'm not too terminal savvy. Okay. So part one of the question is, I would like to know how you created your Windows Drive images okay. to use with virtual so box. So my host operating system here, uh, Spectre, is Linux. So Ubuntu is my host, and I've got VirtualBox uh, 2.1 installed into that host. So when I bring up VirtualBox, it actually gives me the chance to create a new virtual machine. Now you'll notice I'm not I'm not messing with um, accessing different you know an already installed operating system. I actually want to create a new operating system in this virtual machine. So I'm just going to follow the prompts, and you'll see Microsoft Windows Windows XP name. We'll call this Windows XP uh, for Spectre. Okay, and then we hit next, and it's going to ask you how much memory you want. It's nice and straightforward, but this is where uh, you need to create a new hard drive. This is the boot hard disk, you know, things like that. So you create new. You'll see that it gave me a default one because I've already created some before. And you just go through, uh, through these prompts. Dynamically expanding storage means it's not going to take up the full amount of space on your hard drive right now, but it will eventually. So if you allocate, say, 16 gigabytes to this hard drive, if it's dynamically expanding, it's going to start at like, you know, 500 megabytes and then work its way up to 16 gigs as you add more and more to it. That's nice if you want to be, you know, really, really quick getting your virtual machine set up. But if you go with a fixed, pardon me, a fixed size storage, it's going to allocate all that space now. It's going to give you better performance on the virtual machine. So if you're doing multimedia and things like that within the machine, you want to use that. Uh, so then you just set the size of the hard drive and just go through those prompts. I'm not actually going to allocate that space because I don't want to take up that much space on my demo system right now. But uh, that said, you just follow those prompts, go through a, a regular Windows XP installation or Windows Vista or whatever operating system that you're installing in that, in that virtual machine, and that will give you the chance to uh, basically have virtualization just like we've shown on the show in the past. And from there, um, y then you can install your Microsoft Outlook and your other PIM applications and, and whatever it is that you need to do. Just make sure that we've got USB running so that you can access those devices directly through the virtual machine. Uh, and we can take a look at that in more detail down the road if you want to just let me know uh, if you run into any trouble, if there's anything in particular that you need help with. Okay. All right. Does that answer all his questions there? You said that there was, that um, was the first? Is there more? I want to move my Windows wants. programs to my virtual box. Um, so you would just install them in that new, basically think of it, a virtual machine as a new computer basically that's running within your computer. Um, so you would just install those applications again uh, within that system. That's, you know, some people will, will hack it and, and move their existing system onto a virtual machine. I don't bother with that because how hard is it just to reinstall Windows? And the nice thing about that is that in the new virtual machine, it's a fresh install. And like you know, with, especially with Windows operating systems, if it's fresh, the, the install is fresh, uh, it's going to run much better, uh, it's going to run much better than it would if it's been running for, say, a year. Uh, with different registry entries and stuff lingering from other programs and things. So I like to start from scratch.